if you purchase a gadget online like in amazon.com you will see an option for emi like 12 months 24 months and so on and if you pick up the option of emi then you will end up paying more amount than the price and this extra amount is basically the interest and is in fact calculated based on simple interest concept and to understand how it is let's get into this topic the first term is principal it is the sum or the money which is borrowed or lent out for a certain period of time at a certain rate the second is rate of interest r it is a rate at which money is borrowed or lent out and it is always in percentage the third quantity is time it is the period for which the money is borrowed or lent out then the fourth one is interest it is the extra amount paid on the borrowed or lent out money at a certain rate for a certain period and the last term is amount it is the whole sum paid after using the money and we can think of amount as a sum of principal and interest now the question is how do we calculate the simple interest for this we have a formula and the formula is simple interest is principal into rate into time upon 100 we can write this as si equals prt by 100 if the question asks simple interest we can use this formula or if it is rate of interest then r will be si into 100 by pt and time is simple interest into 100 by pr and principal is simple interest into 100 by rt so basically the other permutations whatever possible with this particular formula okay now let's look into the different types of questions asked from this particular topic types of questions The first one is direct formula based questions. So, these are the basic format. The second one is two schemes with different rate of interest. So, the question comes with scheme A, scheme B. A has some interest and B has some other interest and we need to calculate. So, that is the second category. Third is different interest rates for different years and the last one a mixed bag questions or I can say it as miscellaneous questions. Okay, let's try out with the first type that is direct formula based questions. What amount a man would have received on a principle of rupees 4000 after two years at simple interest at the rate of 5% per annum and few options are there to solve this let me write the given data the principal is rupees 4000 time is two years the rate is five percent and we are supposed to calculate the amount now we already know simple interest is prt by 100 that's 4000 into five 
into 2 by 100 that is basically rupees 400 then amount is principal plus simple interest that is 4000 plus 400 that's rupees 4400 therefore option is c now instead of doing it in this lengthy process we could speed up if we can do the mental calculation something like this look at the rate and time simple interest is p r t by 100 so we are multiplying r into t so 5 into 2 is basically 10 then 10 by 100 it is p by 10 the p by 10 means 4000 by 10 that is 400 so till here we could have done it mentally no need to put the pen on the paper then they are asking the amount so add this 400 to the principal that is 4400 so without using pen if you are good at the calculations then you could have done it directly so whichever is convenient you can go in that format okay here we have another question the simple interest occurred on an amount at the end of five years at 12.5 percent is rupees 1575 what is the amount now again let me write the given data time is 5 years interest rate is 12.5 percent and the simple interest is rupees 1575 and we are supposed to calculate the principal now we know simple interest is prt by 100 or p is simple interest into 100 by rt so when we substitute it is 1575 into 100 by 12.5 into 5 that is 157500 by 62.5 or if you do a little bit of uh, division this is 126 into 20 that is rupees 2520 therefore option d now again in this if you are carefully observed there is a denominator with decimal and doing this calculation would be hectic so here we can use a little bit of shortcut so let's try that simple interest is p r t by 100 just focus on this r by 100 so r by 100 is basically 12.5 by 100 this if you solve this will be 1 by 8 so if i go back and substitute it is 1575 is equals to x into 1 by 8 into 5 so 5 and this can be cancelled 315 times so x will be 315 into 8 that is rupees 2520 a better way of calculating it so that was type 1 questions hope you are able to pick up the concept in this lecture i'll be covering the problems based on two schemes with different rate of interest now the type 2 questions two schemes with different interest rates ravi invested rupees p in a scheme a offering simple interest 10 percent per annum for two years he invested the whole amount he received from scheme a into another scheme b offering a simple interest at a rate of 12 percent per annum for five years if the difference between the interest earned from scheme a and b was rupees 1300 what is the value of p okay let's solve this so here they have given two schemes scheme a and scheme b now ravi has taken an amount of p and the rate of interest was 10 percent and the time was two years then whatever amount he accumulated so basically some interest was generated and that was added to the amount so that amount is invested into the second scheme with principal pb where the rate of interest was 12 percent and time was five years and again here also he might have accumulated some interest so let's call it as sb so that's that's what given and apart from that they said the difference between their interest is 1300 so simple interest b and a is rupees 1300 now they're asking us to calculate the value of p so this is the unknown quantity so for this let's go by general procedure let me calculate the interest for a so interest for a is principal into rate into time by 100 this is p by 5 now with this interest the amount will be principal plus interest this is p plus p by 5 6 p by 5 and we already know this particular amount has been invested into the second scheme so let's calculate the interest for the second scheme as well so interest for b will be principal in b 
into rate of interest in B into time in B by 100. That is basically 6P by 5 into 12 into 5 by 100. This is 18P by 25. And we know both the values simple interest of A, simple interest of B. So let's substitute that 18P by 25 minus P by 5 is 1300. So 13P by 25 is 1300 or P is rupees 2500. Therefore, option A. Again, this is a, a lengthy process. Now, if you can calculate fast, we could have concised couple of steps. So let me try that. Here also let me calculate the R by 100. So R in the first case is 10%. So 10 by 100, that is 1 by 10. Now what about RT by 100? So R by 100 into T, that is 1 by 10 into 2, that's 1 by 5. Now the interest generated is PRT by 100. That is P into 1 by 5, that's P by 5. So till here, we could have done it mentally without using the pen. Then the amount is P plus P by 5, that is 6P by 5. Now this becomes the principle for the second scheme, that is P of B is 6P by 5. Now again, for the second case, what is R by 100? That is 12 by 100, which is 3 by 25. Then what about RT by 100? This is 3 by 25 into 5, this becomes 3 by 5. Now what about the now what about the simple interest for the case B? So we need to multiply this P and RT by 100. So this is 6 into 3, that is 18P. And denominators 5 into 5, 25. So whenever we have fractions, it's more easy to solve. Now let's substitute. This is 18P by 25 minus P by 5 is equal to 1300. The rest follows. Once we solve this, the P will be rupees 2500 so small small things if you can calculate mentally you can speed up the calculation process or you can speed up the solving process so small small calculations if you can do mentally then you can speed up the overall solving process now let's get into type 3 questions that is different interest rates for different years in this category generally we are given a principal amount then they say for time period t1 the rate of interest was r1 then for t2 it is some r2 then P3, R3 and so on. And then we are supposed to calculate the simple interest. For this, what we can do is, simple interest is PRT by 100. Now, because we have three different time periods and three different rate of interest, we can do it independently and then we can add it. Something like, simple interest will be P into R1 T1 by 100 plus P R2 T2 by 100 plus P R3 T3 by 100. Now, when we combine this, P and 100 are common, therefore I can take P by 100 into R1 T1 plus R2 T2 plus R3 T3. This will be the formula whenever the interest rates is different for different periods. Okay, let's take up one question. Ravi borrowed some money at the rate of 4% per annum for the first 3 years, at the rate of 8% per annum for the next 2 years and at the rate of 9% per annum for the period beyond 5 years. If he pays a total simple interest of rupees 19,550 at the end of seven years how much money did he borrow and there are a few options all right for this let me write down the interest rates for different time periods first they gave four percent per annum for three years so r1 is four percent and t1 is three years then they said eight percent for next two years then nine percent for the period beyond five years and they're saying seven years so after five then 7 means 2 years ahead. Therefore, R3, 9% for next 2 years. Then they said he has paid a simple interest of rupees 19,550. And they are asking us to calculate how much did he borrow. So basically, the principle is something unknown. Now, for this, we know the formula. Simple interest is principle by 100 into R1, T1. R2 T2 and R3 T3. Now, when we substitute this, 19,550 equals x by 100 into 4 into 3 plus 8 into 2 plus 9 into 2. This is 19,55 5 
zero double zero if i take the hundred this side then x into four into three is twelve eight into two is sixteen nine into two is eighteen now once we add this this is thirty and sixteen forty six so into forty six so this implies that x will be which is four thousand two five double zero there is option b now when we are trying to solve this it's always a good practice to do a little bit of mental calculations so if you want to speed up so instead of writing it this way directly write r1 t1 this is 12 then the next and the next so that we can substitute these values over here directly therefore the calculations would be a little bit faster okay let's do one more question shamita took a loan at simple interest rate of 6% per annum in the first year and it increased by 1.5% per annum every year. If she pays rupees 8190 as interest at the end of 3 years, what was her loan amount? And there are few options. Okay, let's solve this. So here they have given the interest rate is 6% for the first year. So I can directly write R1 T1 is 6. Then it is increased by 1.5%. So 6 plus 1.5 is 7.5 for next one year so r2 t2 is 1.5 if she pays rupees so and so at the end of three years that means one more year is there so r3 t3 and they are saying that it's increasing 1.5 every year so 7.5 plus 1.5 it will be 9 into 1 that is one year so 9 now you just add all this this is 22.5 now this particular value we can use it now let me also write the other given data the simple interest accumulated is 8190 and we are supposed to calculate the principal. We already know the formula. Simple interest is P R1 T1 plus R2 T2 plus R3 T3 by 100. Now if I substitute the values, this is 8190 equals X into this particular value we already calculated that is 22.5 upon 100. So X is 8190 by 22.5. This is rupees 36,400. So that was type 3 questions. Try to practice more questions to get the grip on this topic. Let's do a few questions from this. Simple interest on a certain sum at certain annual rate of interest is 16% of the sum. If the numbers representing the rate, rate percent and, and time in years be equal, then the rate of interest is and there are a few options so here they have given simple interest is 16 percent of principal so i can write this as 16 by 100 of p that is 4p by 25 then they said the rate percent that is rate of interest and time are equal and they're asking us to calculate what is the value of the rate we already know the formula simple interest is prt by 100 in this if we substitute the values 4p by 25 is equals to p into r T also we can take it as R because this is what is given over here divided by 100. Now P can be cancelled. We can add this as R square is equals to 400 by 25 or R is root 400 by 25. That is 20 by 5. That is 4%. Therefore, the option is A. Here is another question. A lends 40% of the sum at 15% interest per annum. 50% of the rest of the sum at 10% per annum and the rest of the sum at 18% per annum rate of interest. What would be the rate of interest if the interest is calculated on the whole sum? And there are a few options. So whenever uh, we have this kind of a thing where we are not sure about the sum, it's better to assume the sum to be 100. So let's take sum as rupees 100. And they're saying they're distributing the amount into three parts. So part one, part two and part three. Part one is 40% of the sum. So if my sum is 100 rupees, 40% is 40 rupees. For this, they're calculating the simple interest at 15% rate. Therefore, I can take this as simple interest is 40 into 15. Now they have not given the years, therefore we can take the year as 1 upon 100. This is rupees 6. Then they said 50% of the rest of the sum. 
Now, what is the rest of the sum? 40 rupees are gone. We are left with only 60 rupees. So, 50 percent of 60 rupees is rupees 30. For this, let us calculate the interest at 10 percent per annum. So, here simple interest will be 30 into 10 into 1 by 100 that is rupees 3. Then they are saying the rest of the sum at 18 percent. So, rest of the rupees 30. SI will be 30 into now their interest rate is 18 into 1 by 100 that is basically 540 divided by 100 that is 5.4. Now, what will be the total interest? So, total SI will be 6 plus 3 plus 5.4 that is 14.4. This is the interest generated for 100 rupees. Therefore, I can say the rate is. 14.4 rupees for every 100 rupees or this is 14.4 percent therefore the answer is option c so whenever we take 100 whatever the answer we get we can directly convert it into percentage so that's the end for simple interest before you proceed to the next topic make sure to practice more number of questions